And I looked and I thought, why am I forking out all of the actual materials, going and doing the job, and then waiting to be paid? Your timings of your revenue are really important to how you run your business. If you're getting paid after the event, you need to be thinking, well, why is that happening? And it might be that it's, you, you can't do anything about it. That's just the situation with the, the suppliers that you currently have, and that's the way it works, and they're the big boys. That sometimes is the situation, especially in construction, if you, you know, you're working with certain companies. But you need to have place in, in place your contracts and your terms to make sure you're nailed down. But if it's not, and you're the person in charge of your terms, well, then you can do something about it. So a common one for me is, and I don't know why it's like this, but in the construction industry, raise your hand if you like construction or you, you provide that type of service, yeah? And raise your hand if your payment terms are after the event, after the, yeah. So then we used to do the same in the early days. And often we just do it because that's what the industry does. Does that make sense? And I looked and I thought, why am I forking out all of um, the actual materials beforehand, going and doing the job, and then waiting to be paid. That's a massive issue with my business. And at the time it was a cash flow issue. I was thinking, that's putting me at major risk because then the customer has all the power to go, I'm not happy, I'm not paying it. Take me a car. Or, oh, well, how about you just give me a discount and, I, and I'll pay you this little bit and they'll negotiate with things. So I changed it. We used to be on seven day terms. And with it, so it used to be after, and I, th and I remember thinking, why are we even on seven days after the event? Like, why? The, you know? So, very, very quickly, I changed it and I said, I went to an advanced. I didn't go immediate, I went advanced. So, what it would be would be I did stage payments. And I would say, to book with me, you're going to pay 10% for my diary slot. I ain't wasting it. And then it'd be like at certain points, so everything was paid before we delivered that bit, if that makes sense. So by the end of the job, everything was paid up and we just had to finish the last bit. That protected us massively. We used to have it where people would go, oh, I'd like a 20 grand job doing, fantastic. We'd have it all booked in, we'd do everything, put the dates in the diary for them, have everything booked out, all the lads, everything arriving, all ordered. The day before they go, oh, sorry, can't go ahead. And you might have contracts and terms and you know, conditions agreed, but sometimes it's really difficult in that industry. Something's happened, I can't go ahead. Raise your hand if you've had that before. Yeah. And then you're like, what the, I've, I've got all these lads now that I've got to lay down, they've got no job to go, go to, that I have to pay the wages for. All of this stock now just sat there. Obviously we'd ring the suppliers and say, can we send it back and do whatever? But you know what I mean? It was all of that risk. So we just went to advance. So right now you need to be looking at your payment terms and going, how do you get paid? You know, that's really important. Are you putting your business at risk by how you do it? Or how, are you able to change that, that you can actually start to be paid in front and not have the risk? Who feels that they could possibly do that little change quite easily in the business? Yeah. <laughs>